here, Derek, monitoring some storms that are going to be headed our way soon. Yeah, certainly nothing like what they've been seeing out towards the plains here this evening, but it looks like we could have some strong storms on Thursday afternoon. It really is going to depend on a couple of things, which I'll try to explain in just a second. But tomorrow, we've got to look forward to another beautiful day. We had two a days in a row of sunshine today, and it looks like we'll add a third one here for tomorrow as we. Enter a pretty quiet and comfortable night here across the area. Temperatures into the 50s and 60s, so very pleasant overnight. And then we're going to be looking at summer like temperatures for your Wednesday. Some areas may get close to 90 degrees or perhaps hit 90 uh, tomorrow afternoon. And then we're going to be looking at some storms on Thursday. Now, we could see some storms come into the area late tomorrow, particularly for parts of western Maryland, but it looks like the majority of our rain is likely going to hold off until Thursday. 60s, 50s, as I showed you earlier, so it's very comfortable night. Looks like temps in the morning again will be in the 50s and 60s. We'll quickly get into the 70s and lower 80s here by lunchtime. Pretty nice afternoon on the way. But again, here's our storm system to the west. This is one that's been causing the severe weather. It will make a slow march to the east. Now we've got a level one of five severe weather risk for western Maryland. Uh, as we go into the afternoon and evening hours tomorrow. So we'll be watching some storms coming in from the west tomorrow evening. They'll be very isolated in nature. Wind and hail will be the main threats. And then on Thursday, we have a level one of five east of 81 heading over to the eastern shore in southern Maryland. Isolated wind gusts and also the potential for some hail. Uh, some of it could be up to quarter size and heavy rainfall. It really is going to depend on how much storm fuel we can get. Now, basically what you look at here, this is the severe weather risk level, goes one, for, one through five, and we'll be at a level one where we're looking at isolated severe storms possible here across the area. So here's a look at your future cast. These are the storms we're expecting tomorrow evening. Notice they're very widely scattered, very isolated in nature. Most of the area, though, will remain dry. Then as we get into Wednesday evening, Wednesday night, Night. Could see a few more showers, maybe a storm or two. And what the wild card is going to be on Thursday is if we get storm development in the morning, because what that will do is it will cut down on the fuel in the atmosphere for the storms that could develop during the afternoon. If we get storms in the morning, the clouds should cut down on the instability, and our storm threat in the afternoon and evening won't be quite as high. This forecast model is showing that, so that's one thing we're going to be watching is to see how things evolve Thursday morning into Thursday afternoon. If we get storms earlier in the day, it'll likely cut down on our severe weather threat. But either way you look at it, the active pattern continues into Memorial Day weekend. We're going to have several of these disturbances headed our way, combined with a stalled front that's going to give us off and on storm chances. Now, it will not rain the entire Entire time. It's not going to be a washout, but there will be scattered storm chances. Right now, I think that probably Friday and Sunday will be the best days with higher chances coming up Memorial Day and on Saturday. High temperatures across the area tomorrow again, mid to upper 80s to near 90 degrees, get up to around 90 for the Inner Harbor tomorrow. 89 Owings Mills, Easton at 84. Uh, Denton at 85 degrees, Frederick Thermont getting up to 89 degrees as well. First alert, seven day forecast. Again, we've got a yellow there for Thursday for the possibility that we could issue an alert day, depending on how things evolve. We'll keep you updated on that. Meteorologist Meg McNamara and Tim Williams will keep you updated tomorrow morning on WJZ News starting at 4 30, and then we'll be watching more storm chances as we head into your Friday and weekend. Keep the umbrella handy. Back to you guys. Oh, we never put it away. Derek, <laughs> thank you.